Welcome to the atmosphere of grace. Open up your heart and mind as you listen to the word of God that guides you, inspires you, and fills your life with peace. Remember to be a blessing by sharing this message. God bless you. Amongst the countless tiny parts that make up the universe, two simple words possess an extraordinary power capable of steering your life toward your desired destination. These words are I am. As the creator of this vast universe, I have imbued these words with a divine capacity to shape your reality. They serve as the rudder of your life's vessel, guiding you toward either calm or turbulent waters. The destination your vessel reaches is determined by the words you attach to these critical coordinates. Consider the statement, I am awkward. In the language of this symbolic journey, you're charting a course for an unfortunate place called Awkward Cove. Each time these words escape your lips, your vessel sails a bit closer to this unintended island. But here's the divine secret. The same rule applies when you choose positive affirmations like I am blessed or I am loved. By uttering these words, you're navigating towards islands abundant with blessings and love. The exciting part of this voyage is that you, my precious creation, are the captain of your ship. You hold the divine authority to choose the direction of your journey. Isn't this a divine privilege? But with it comes a great responsibility. You must be mindful of the paths you chart with your words, lest you steer your life towards less desirable destinations, such as the dreaded Isle of Unluckiness or the desolate Bay of Broke. Instead, why not adjust your course towards the more welcoming harbors of Positive Peninsula or Abundance Island? Each new dawn offers you a fresh opportunity to recalibrate your course. Will you steer towards Complaint Coast, or will you chart a course for Gratitude Gulf? Here's a piece of divine wisdom. As you start your day, look in the mirror and proclaim the truth of your being. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am attractive. I am rejuvenating. In the infinite whispers of creation, hear my voice. I am the one who breathed life into the stars who gave rhythm to the tides, and who formed you, dear child, from a divine blueprint. I am your creator, yet I am also your companion. My voice doesn't thunder from above, but instead echoes within the chambers of your heart, in the words I am. Ponder again these two simple words, I am. They may seem humble, but they carry the seeds of creation brimming with potential, waiting to shape the embroidery of your existence. As you traverse the winding path of your days, recognize that the power of I am walks with you, whispering, weaving, and working in your life. Often, you unknowingly wield the power of I am against yourself, painting a future shaded with shadows of doubt and fear. Yet, listen carefully, my dear one, for the words that follow I am are not idle or empty. They carry the weight of promise, a promise that seeks you out, finds you, and takes shape in your life. Accept these truths about yourself and speak them into existence. You invite beauty, grace, and positivity into your life when you do this. In the grand theater of the universe, you're not an anonymous face lost in the crowd. You are a unique, irreplaceable masterpiece, formed in my image. There is no one else like you, and there never will be. Let not the words of others erode your self-worth. Their judgments and criticisms do not define you. You are who I say you are. Stand firm in your divine identity and affirm, I am unique, I am chosen. I am a masterpiece. The power of words is not to be underestimated. 
Things are arranged and rearranged through the power of words. In my wisdom, I have designed words to be seeds, capable of shaping your destiny. Plant seeds of positivity and love, and you'll nurture a blossoming garden. But if you plant seeds of negativity and hate, you'll reap a barren, thorny bush. When you say, I am poor, poverty starts to dance in your footsteps. When you say, I am old, time etches itself more deeply into your skin. When you say, I am unhealthy, diseases become uninvited guests. Whatever follows I am becomes a prophecy, a self-fulfilled invitation to manifest in your life. Consider your words as powerful as electricity. Harnessed correctly, they can illuminate your world. But mishandled, they can cause damage. Therefore, choose your words with divine care. Replace I am broke with I am journeying towards abundance. Instead of declaring I am sick, affirm I am healing and growing stronger each day. Your words have the divine ability to shape your reality. Think of them as your miracle rod, and every I am statement is a supernatural prayer drawing your desires closer to you. Use this rod with divine wisdom. Remember, what follows the I am will come looking for you. Embrace this truth, live it, and you will witness the miracle of creation in your life. Here's a divine task for you. Jot down all the positive things you wish to see in your life, starting each one with I am. For instance, I am happy, I am successful, I am healthy. Recite this list aloud daily. Believe this, it's a powerful tool to shape your reality. Never forget, you are an outstanding, remarkable, unique individual created in my image filled with untapped potential. I, your creator, have faith in you. But the question remains, do you believe in yourself? If you do, then seize the helm, captain, and set sail for the life of abundance that I have ordained for you.